need a fresh start on your iPhone or you want to separate personal and work accounts or simply don't have an Apple ID yet. Creating a new Apple ID gives you access to the App Store, iCloud, iMessage, FaceTime and more. In today's video, I'll show you how to make a new Apple ID on your iPhone so you can start using Apple services right away. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Steph and in this channel, I teach you quick daily tech tips that make your life a little easier. On your iPhone, go to your Safari web browser. Then, go to account.apple.com. Then, tap on the drop down on the top right. And then, select create your Apple account. Here, you can see that you can create your Apple account with details that you need to key in. For example, your last name, your first name, your date of birth, month, year, and then your email address, which will be your new Apple account. So do take note that for every Apple account ID, it has to be tagged to only one email account, where you can enter here. So once you have keyed in your email address, then go down to key in your phone number. Make sure you enter a valid phone number so that Apple can verify that you are a human and not a bot. So you can verify it either with a text message or a phone call. As you scroll down, you can see that there are two boxes that are checked here for announcements and Apple apps, music, TV and more. These are basically advertisements and usually I'll just check them off if I don't want any emails or messages to be sent to this email address. Then lastly, you have to key in the bot checker code, which is this 1G92 to ensure that you are human and not bot. So once you're done, tap on continue and you will be able to create your new Apple ID. Once you have your new Apple ID, you can sign into it by tapping on settings and your name here. Then scroll down if you are logged into any existing Apple ID and then tap on sign out and then you can sign in with your new Apple ID. There you go. If you found today's video useful, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more useful videos like this. Until the next video, I'm Steph. Take care and bye-bye.